The Enid Regional Development Alliance partnered with the Oklahoma Center for the Advancement of Science and Technology to host our first annual Future of Food Forum today in order to discuss some of the trends that are going on in the production of food, the transportation and logistics of moving food from the field to, uh, to dinner plates all around the world, as well as uh, looking at trends in food consumption, and, uh, and also to discuss how we as a community, as a region, and as a state can, uh, can better fit and be prepared to be a part of that uh, food production supply chain. What really, I believe, changes things the most is the experience that we have with food. How people experience food, how they interact with it, and that really starts to drive uh, what's happening. If you want to think about the most simple way to look at it is, is the, the different economies you've gone through, and I'm going to talk about how people used to get coffee by buying a 50, the farmer would get a 50 pound bag of coffee 120 years ago, and it was two cents a cup. There's been different ways to get it, but now that same cup of coffee, when it becomes an experience, four bucks a cup. Because people will go out there and they'll go to Starbucks and they'll go to a caribou or they'll go to whatever coffee house because it becomes an experience. So when food becomes an experience, it changes the way we eat. I think it's important we step back and, and, and examine where we're, we're at today. Fully 98% of the U.S. population is not engaged in production agriculture. They've deferred their food production to the 1 to 2 percent that really do. But yet those of us involved in that 1 to 2 percent really need to tell our side of the story about production agriculture, how we are operating, operating sustainably, how we are trying to change our operation to address issues around clean water and clean air, how we're trying to adapt our operation to meet the needs of society, and if we don't tell our message, no one will. I think the really big takeaway for me is kind of seeing the global perspective um, of what we farmers and ranchers are doing here in Oklahoma. I think sometimes we just think about uh, what we're doing every day here in the state, but when we see the global need, especially as cattle producers, when we see that increase in consumption of protein, um, when people introduce that, um, you know, the folks in India or the folks in China, when they introduce that protein to their diet, uh, they don't typically take it out of their diet. So there's such a huge uh, need for us to find different ways to feed the world. And I think the important thing that I've heard here today so far is that uh, lots of ag business companies are doing the research and development and going to provide us, hopefully, the technology so we can put those um, in place on our farms and ranches. Ultimately, he pointed out a couple times that we're so far removed today. Generations are so far removed from the farms. And, and what, what I look at regularly and say, who's going to farm in the future? Well, the, the people who want that experience. Again, same thing with the food. If we're, so whatever you're doing, whether you're a farmer or you're a, you're a value-added manufacturer or the consumer, people are going to make decisions by the experiences they have. So I, I'm going to tell them, this may not perfectly fit what you do, but It'll give you an understanding of how things turn. It also hopefully will give you an understanding, how do I serve those customers that I have by creating experiences for them? But it's also created a whole new experience in, in our vehicles where today somebody can pull in the field and as they move through the field, they hit a button and the vehicle uses GPS to guide itself in the exact place that it should, freeing up that operator's time to do other things, to view the operation of their machine, to, to call their trusted advisor, to catch up on their reading. So in many ways, it's created almost a new social experience in the field. 